There are one million villagers outside my security bunker and they're pissed! It's all good. Toss these villagers some emeralds and I'm sure they'll chill out. Are they egging me? Yo, that ain't cool! It's all good. Luckily, villagers are dumb, so they'll never figure out how to cross the lake. Yo, what? They're chopping down wood! Now they're building boats? They're taking the boats across the lake! Nah, nah, we can't have this. All right, all right, I admit I'm impressed. But luckily, I got a little something just in case this were to ever happen. Unleash Pino! Pino. Boom! Y'all didn't forget about Pino, did you? That should teach these villagers to stay out of the water, right? Bruh, what are they building now? Some sort of stage. They be holding some kind of election or something. Okay, Genghis Mon, I see you. What are you gonna do for your people? All right, all right. Looks like he's splitting everybody up. Some of them are gatherers. Some of them are miners. Some of them are builders. And some of them are soldiers. Yikes! They got the builders gearing up the soldiers. Okay, so the villagers aren't as dumb as I thought. I'll give them that. So, they're kind of forming a whole military camp out there. Do we have a plan? Chill, fam! They still can't get past Pino, so we're good! Yeah, you're right. I'll just chill out and watch them struggle. Yo! Are you freaking kidding me? They're building a whole Bruh. warship out there. They're sending a whole battalion of soldiers on the warship. They even got a lieutenant, Draco. I bet, Draco. Let's see how you fare against Pino. Cannons? Okay, so they got cannons on that thing? How come nobody mentioned anything about cannons? No, Pino! Okay, Draco is leading a warship right at us and Pino is down. I think now's a good time to panic. If they want to fight, I'll show them a fight. Yo, chill. There's got to be a better way. Commander, there's something in the water. It looks like a white flag. I guess they must be surrendering. Bring it on board. Open it. They've got it. They're opening the package. You got the detonator? I don't feel right about this. It's so shady. Bam! You want to be shady or you want to be dead? I can't. Just give it to me. So we snuck a crate of TNT onto the warship. So what? Take that, you dumb villagers. What's next? Whatever you cook up next, we'll be ready for it. Huh? They're announcing a ceasefire. Jeez, they're really butthurt about losing that warship, eh? I get that they're hard to build, but still. Wait, looks like they're gathering for someone's funeral. Who are those guys carrying? The lieutenant? He got blown up. What's the big deal? No way. Draco was Genghis Man's son? Yo, now I actually feel kind of bad. We blew up the guy's kid. All right, we should probably go over there and say something. You mean leave the safety of our bunker and go straight into the enemy camp? It's during a ceasefire. They can't do anything. I don't know, fam. We kind of just sent a fake ceasefire and blew up their leader's kid. That's fair, but this might be our only chance to negotiate a truce. Yasir's right. Two of us should go over there. Let's flip a coin. Heads. Heads. Tails. Tails. All right, let's go. And so it was decided. Me and Varun would go over to the villagers' war camp to negotiate a truce. When we got there, we were actually greeted by Genghis Man's wife, Martha. Oh, yeah. I should have known this was trouble, but more on that later. It was actually really nice. We grieved with the villagers at the funeral. I think it meant something to Genghis Man that we were there. I think the experience showed us all how horrible war really was. And after the funeral, Genghis Man invited us into his home. It was a little sus because I didn't know where Varun went, but the meeting was too important, so I went without him. Bruh. So basically, we came here to say we want to end all the fighting and call a truce. Ah. Yeah, exactly. We don't want any more mothers or fathers to lose their sons. Uh -huh. I agree. We could accomplish so much more if we work together. The meeting actually went so well. My boy Genghis was hella reasonable. We saw eye to eye on pretty much everything. He hooked me up with my own room for the night and come the morning, he denounced the truce. But the morning never came. Because remember when I told you that Varun was trouble? 
Well, in the middle of that night, I heard a knock on my window. Psst, psst. Babe, we gotta go! What are you talking about? Genghis said he'd announce the truce in the morning. No, ah, that's not gonna happen. Trust me. What? What did you do? Babe, I'll tell you later, but right now we gotta go! I'm confused, right? This must be some kind of prank. But by the tone, it didn't sound like it. So I follow him down to the lake. Me, Varun, and this other shady character get into a boat. First chance I get, I ask, Yo, you better tell me what the hell is going on. Okay, I will. But first, you have to promise me you won't get mad. I ain't promising nothing. Tell me right now. Nah, fam. Promise me or I ain't telling you. Fine. I promise I won't get mad. Okay. So, I met someone. Okay. The only thing is, she's kind of in a relationship. No, don't tell me. Martha? <coughs> Bruh, you kidnapped Genghis Man's girl? So, yeah. As you can imagine, truce was off. In fact, next morning, it was the exact opposite of a truce. Genghis Man put up a new flag, and his villagers started building five more warships. This time, he wasn't going to hold back. Before we know it, all five warships are in the water and coming straight for us. But it's all good, though. You see, it wasn't counting on the truce, so while we were gone, he was busy working on something. You call this a what? A freeze gun. Does it do what I think it does? Only one way to find out. So I take this bad boy outside and... Yo, check this out. The entire lake froze over. All five warships are stuck in the ice. Bet you didn't see that coming. What now? Oh, right. Yeah, we didn't think this one through. The soldiers are hopping out of the warships and just running across the ice. Get inside! Okay, this is bad. But as long as we stay inside this impenetrable bunker, we'll be safe, right? Bam! We'll run out of food if we stay in here forever. Well, if you didn't kidnap Genghis Man's wife, then we wouldn't be trapped in here, would we? No offense, Martha. Ha. <sighs> We'll just have to ration the supplies and buy time until we can come up with a plan. Uh, time is looking real expensive right about now. What? Bruh, the villagers are building a giant battering ram. They're gonna bust down our gate in no time with that thing. This is it for us. Wait, bam, look at this. Dare I say that Varun redeemed himself? Nah, of course not. This whole thing is entirely his fault. But he did find something that was a game changer. One of our security cameras caught the moment that we blew up Draco's ship with the TNT. And if you zoom in right here, what do you know? Our boy Draco jumped off the ship before the explosion went off. That means he's alive. If we just skip forward on this footage, huh? He never came out of the water. That must mean he's still in there somewhere. Guys, hold down the fort. I'm going to find him. The others distracted the villagers while I snuck out and jumped into the lake. This was super risky because if I had to come up for air, they'd see me for sure. But luckily, I found a secret entrance. And what do you know? Our boy Draco was camped out in a little secret bunker of his own all along. Yo, you got some explaining to do. Ah. Fine, I'll have one. Then, you gotta answer some of my questions. Boy, these were no regular candies. Next thing you know, I'm tripping out. And huh? This is the villager camp. But like, before. Is that Genghis? That must be young Draco. And Martha. They look so happy together. She. this is when Pino took out those boats. I guess after that, Genghis changed. He got consumed by his ambition giving public speeches, rallying the other villagers. But at what cost? He neglected his family. Eventually, Genghis got elected to become the leader of the villagers. Martha and Draco never saw him anymore. The only way for Draco to see his dad again was to join the military and become the lieutenant. But it was a huge mistake. Draco never wanted to invade or hurt anyone else. So he had one of the builders build a fake corpse. He was planning to fake his own death on the warship and run away from home even before our TNT ever showed up. I get it now. You didn't want to follow in your dad's footsteps, so you just ran away? <laughs> True. And now you just want to live a peaceful life and practice spirituality? <laughs> Bruh, I feel you. But 
I'm sorry. As much as I was touched by Draco's story, I couldn't just let him chill out on the sidelines while his dad's army was about to bust through our bunker and wipe us out. So I kidnapped him and took him back to the bunker. Next morning, the battering ram was finished and it was ready to get to smashing. But I had a message for Genghis Man. We tied up Draco and put him on the roof. Yo, Genghis, I got something for you. Aww. That's right. We have your son, and if you want him back, you'd better call off your army. Uh -huh. What? He's prepared to die a warrior's death? Yo, that's cold. Uh, -huh. uh bam, what did he say? Basically, he's pissed, and he's going to attack with everything he's got. Get inside! Yeah, so that kind of backfired. On top of the battering ram smashing at our front gate, we could feel bombs landing against our bunker. It was a matter of time before they got inside. I was officially out of ideas. This was it for us. But then... <sighs> yeah, I agree. It's messed up that your dad doesn't care you're in here. <clears throat> what? No, you can't. <clears throat> no, Draco! That's when Draco lost it. He ran out the front gate and... The bombing stopped. The battering ram backed off. All the villagers looked to Genghis for what to do next. <laughs> Bruh, this is crazy! Draco confronted Genghis about trying to kill his own son. Then he challenged him to a 1v1 duel. Winner becomes the new leader of the villagers. And under the pressure of literally everyone watching, Genghis had to accept. Just like that, we all gathered in the middle of the frozen lake. Draco and Genghis both geared up with full armor sets and weapons. It was a fight to the death between father and son. As much as I wanted to see Draco win, there was a clear difference in battle experience. In other words, Genghis whooped the shit out of Draco over and over. But when Draco was nearly down for the count, nah, he did not just say that. Genghis's harsh words towards his own son showed just how heartless he had become. His loyal followers all started to doubt him. Did they really want a leader this heartless? The answer was no. The villagers on the sidelines charged in and ganged up on Genghis. He put up a fight, but at the end of the day, he was outnumbered. They took him out and crowned Draco as their new leader. Then. Draco took the stage to give his first order as their new king. <laughs> Wait, what? You gotta be kidding me! Damn, what did he say? He's mad that I kidnapped him and told him to invade our bunker. 